Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We're looking at number 104 now. We're looking at Commander Bly. Uh, this is a cool looking figure. Uh, there has been a running change I've been recently made aware of. And uh, they incorrectly on this one, they've uh, not painted the brown stripe that goes sort of down the face of his helmet. They haven't painted it on the, uh, under the mouth slot there. So we'll be going over that briefly. Uh, when I open it up, so there's a look at the back. If you want to pause and read the bio, you can absolutely do that. So again, number 104, Clone Commander Bly. Let's crack open and have a look. And here we are, new clone, fresh out of the packaging, Clone Commander Bly. Uh, now this is another really, really nice clone. Hasbro's doing great stuff putting these clones out. Sort of every every three to six months, they seem to put out a new clone for us, a new addition to the armies, um, which is great because, you know, you can't get enough, especially when they're offering up something different. It's great. Um, be nice to see some sort of army builders re-release. They did that four pack a few years ago. Um, it was an Entertainment Earth exclusive or something. Um, be nice to see those particular plain clones. Well, they weren't plain, but they had, they had a 501st. They had a I can't even remember. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice to see them put out individually as well. So we've got a chance to get, you know, build up an army a little bit and grab a couple extra troops to sort of stand behind these these commanders that we're getting because they're looking really great. Now, Bly is the big big old mini pants that kills Ayla Secura uh, on Felucia during Order 66. Um, but it is a really cool looking clone trooper. Now, as I sort of mentioned, just as I was bringing it up before, uh, there is a running change where they've continued this sort of brown stripe of paint that goes down the front of his helmet. They have continued it that goes down to the sort of chin as well, so it follows all the way down just to the top of the black piece there. Um, I'm not too fussy about it. It's not that big a deal that it's missing it. Um, I think some other... Companies have actually missed that in the past. I think Hot Toys, perhaps, or Sideshow Collectibles uh, have put one out where that was missing. So not a big deal for me personally. I know some people are really sort of anal about that kind of thing. Um, I'm not one of them. Um, but what we've got here is just a really great looking clone. Um, great accessories. Comes with his big old DC-15. Trying to remember the names off the back of my head, but I've got no idea. DC 15 or DC 15S, I can't remember. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I play enough Battlefront, I should know these things. Uh, has two pistols in working holsters. Also has a new helmet sculpt, which is essentially the same thing, just slightly retooled so he can uh, have the quad knock visor or the binocular visor which looks quite cool, so it's a nice feature. Um, and the pauldron is new as well. Uh, or is it? Did Rex have the same one? I can't remember. Um, either way, it looks great. And just having all these sort of different helmet variations really opens it up for the future, um, dealing with putting out different clones and different troopers in the future. So um, the one thing that is different, unique about this pauldron is the strap that comes down here. It does sort of peg into the back of that pouch there, which is unique to this figure. Also this upper forearm, I believe, I believe this is unique as well. I could be mistaken. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. Um, but I think it is because the uh, joint there looks quite new and unique. Um, looks like they're trying to give these clones a little bit more, a little bit more movement in the, in the elbows there, which is nice. But overall, I really like the uh, paintwork on, on the figure. Looks good. I love just the browns throughout. Little nicks in the paints on the leg. Dirty boots. Soft goods karma around the back here. Looks good. 
it's just a good looking clone trooper. I'm digging it. Digging it a lot. I'm pretty excited to have a, another one for the ranks. Wondering what clone they go with next. Um, there are whispers of Echo from the Clone Wars coming very, very soon. So that would be cool. Whether it's Arc Trooper or it is, you know, more, more recent Bad Batch armor where he's got one robotic arm. That would be a cool look. Um, very interested to see what Hasbro do if that is the case. But uh, yeah, I'd like to see some more like to see some more unique clones and then really start pushing out more variations that'd be that'd be really cool all right guys i think that just about does it for this review beforehand i'll run down the articulation uh standard for the clone troopers is a ball jointed head uh ball hinge shoulders double joint in the elbows ball hinge wrists joint in the upper torso ball hinged hips swivels at the thighs just behind that armor piece Double joints in the knees and ball jointed ankles, so pretty pretty standard for troopers. Same as most clones. Like I said, I think there might be a bit of retooling in those elbows to just to give it a little bit more a little bit more movement, but anyway guys, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, I'll be back with another video very, very shortly. May the force be with you.